Yeah, well, social media and technology are revolutionizing the music world. And one main band is taking full advantage to reach their listeners, recording in a brand new studio to create an authentic sound. In tonight's Tech Trends, WMTW News 8's Erin O'Valley introduces us to the Jason Spooner Band. Good evening, everyone. The Jason Spooner Band told me that many different elements went into making this new album a success. But it all started when the band drove two hours north and walked into her studios. Welcome to 4 Union Street, tucked away in Camden, Maine. The outside resembles a barn. On the inside, a rustic, state-of-the-art recording studio where music came to life for the Jason Spooner Band. I wish I could have photographed the looks on our faces when we came in here because it was just, you know, as soon as we got in here and looked around and sort of just felt the room and the way the reverberation works in here and the way the drum kit sounded, I mean, we immediately all walked in like kids in a toy store. After initially visiting Hearst Studios, lead vocalist Jason Spooner said selecting this space to record the band's new album titled Chemical was the obvious and exciting choice. We chose this place because of the location, not only the space, obviously, and Jason being a really gracious guy, really, you know, a cool engineer who had a real different approach than we dealt with in the past. You know, he really just wanted to let us be in the space, play here, get us a sense for where we wanted to be in the room. Jason Spooner and Jason Hurst met years ago while attending Colby College. As fate would have it, these two would cross paths again, this time working tirelessly with the band to perfect every song. I've been listening to the album for two months now, and I still haven't found anything where I'm like, oh, why? Wow. Yeah. So I've been really happy with it. Working together, interacting, waking up, living, breathing, playing music. Um, completely translates to the record. I would say that's probably the most noticeable difference. From the live room to the control room and all of the high-end fixtures in both, Hearst says he couldn't be happier with the outcome of his new studio and the success of his first big project. Is everybody in their basement or their bedroom can have a laptop and some microphones and record things. And part of what I realized I needed to do was to be able to create a live space um, for the acoustics, which not everybody can have. One, two, three. Not everybody can experience a space like this, where you get to hit a drum and it just sounds that good. Every day I come down here, I get goosebumps. It's like, it's great. That's the other thing I hope they hear is, is the sort of spirit of this room, the soul of this room, because it's a new studio, but it definitely has um, a sound, and there's a lot of care when they're making it, um, and I think that translates to the record significantly. Well, Spooner also said the band is using social media and the internet to reach his listeners in a unique way. He is now offering a free download on Fireflies2014.com. He describes that song, Fireflies, as a love letter to summer and hopes that you will also download that song and let it inspire you by uploading pictures, videos, and stories that maybe remind you of summer. And then at the end of the season, the band will make a video for the song, Fireflies, from all of your photos and your videos. Certainly a creative and talented bunch. That's going to do it for today's Tech Trends Report. I'm Erin O'Valley.